The Spanish Grand Prix was a banger because finally Mercedes turned up with a car that wasn't shit. Leclerc, Verstappen, Sainz, Russell, Perez and Hamilton made up the grid. We were about to get a six-way fight for the win and then Hamilton had a crash on the first lap and dropped down to 19th. But a five-way fight is still incredible. And into the gravel goes Carlos Sainz. A four-way fight is still very exciting. Into the gravel goes Max Verstappen. A three-way battle between three different teams is still fun. That's Charles Leclerc going Leclerc. very slowly. As he comes into the pits and he is out of the race. For Fox's sake, this was a difficult race to follow, especially if you're a moron. Basically, here's what happened. George Russell got himself up into third on the first lap, making it Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes, 1, 2, and 3. Then, the other Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton had a skirmish with Kevin Magnussen, which gave him a puncture. After he dragged it back to the pit lane, got new tyres, and came back out, he was down in 19th and 30 seconds behind Nicholas Latifi. But if there's one driver who prides himself on his ability to overcome adversity, come back from impossible odds, Somebody who would never even think about giving up. It's Lewis Hamilton. I would save this engine, guys, if I was you. Sorry. I would save this engine, guys, if I was you. It's the third bloody lap. And Lance Stroll and Nicholas Latifi are still in the race, which means everybody could be killed. Hashtag still we rise up my arse. Then, Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen had exactly the same spin, but for different reasons. Carlos, because he likes it and Max because of something called a Big Gust, who was born in 1872 and was once America's largest policeman. Verstappen came back onto the track just behind Russell and Perez, who were fighting over second place. Red Bull moved Perez out of the way so Verstappen can attack Russell. But first, he attacked his race engineer, who is a man called Giamperio Lembrese. Max became increasingly angry when his DRS wouldn't open properly. Max, info. DRS flap did not open last lap. Keep trying. DRS did not open. No, the fucking DRS! Max, I think you may have closed it last time around. Because I'm pressing it 50 fucking times before it opens. Just try one button press. Oh my god, man. And you can't even make a fucking deal of this word, man. Unbelievable. Don't you fucking dare talk to me like that. You can't! I may have added a bit. Eventually, Max gets the DRS to work, and on lap 24, he storms up to the back of Russell, throws it down the inside into the first corner, Russell hangs around the outside, pushes back through, they switch going into the fast right-hander, Verstappen now on the outside, they go wheel to wheel, Russell starts pushing him off the track, now at this point, the most exciting moment of the battle, the F1 TV directors would normally cut away to a crowd shot or a replay of something completely irrelevant, or Paul DeResta fingering his arsehole in the pit lane. But they didn't. We saw the entire battle, from start to finish, completely uninterrupted. The F1 TV directors were actually doing a good job. At least they were, until they showcased a brand new piece of equipment we've never seen before, this live drone. What the fuck is this now? A low-definition, shaky, useless camera angle we can't see anything. Is it a drone, or did they strap a GoPro to a pigeon? Once the pigeon had landed, we see Charles Leclerc driving very slowly. He was in first place, and after Verstappen fucked it, there was nobody else that was going to challenge him for the win. And now he pulls into the pit lane and retires with an engine problem. All the Ferrari fans were heartbroken. But who gives a shit? Because now, George Russell and Max Verstappen are fighting for the lead of the race, which lasted five more seconds. Then Red Bull ruined it by putting Max on a three-stopper. All right, but now it's Sergio Perez versus George Russell for the lead of the race, which lasted three seconds. He just drove straight around him. All right, but now we've got a charging Max Verstappen on brand new soft tyres. We see him pull a beautiful move around the outside of Valtteri Bottas. He's taking seconds a lap out of George Russell. He gets right up behind him again and Mercedes ruin it by pitting Russell. All right, but now it's both Red Bull drivers fighting each other for the win. 
Maybe we get another multi-21 meltdown. Maybe we get another crash like in Azerbaijan. This could be the start of a brand new Red Bull rivalry. And Perez lets him through. Can we have nothing? Well, at this point, we may as well check in with Mr. I never give up unless it's the third lap of the Spanish Grand Prix. Last we heard, he was in 19th and 30 seconds behind Nicholas Latifi. Lewis Hamilton moves to the outside of the track and then swoops round in front of Carlos Sainz and up into fourth place. How the fuck did he do that? You see, this is why nobody listens to you. Oh, Bono, my tyres are dead. Sets the fastest lap. Oh, we should retire and save the engine. Gets back up into fourth. Oh, we need to save the oceans on the back of a speedboat. If all he did was drive the car and never said a word, people would think he was Jesus Christ. So Red Bull and Verstappen take the lead in both world championships. Ferrari remembered it's Ferrari and have started throwing this championship away. Mercedes are now back up at the front and Aston Martin, despite turning up with a car that was a blatant copy of the Red Bull, is still shit. And that's because of three main reasons. The first is Lance Stroll. The second is Lance Stroll. And the third is seriously, how the fuck has he not been fired yet, the useless cop? <laughs>